<laughs> but Sharon, what was it like for you editing this collection of stories? Because, you know, one thing that stands out to me is that there's almost this um, common thread in at least two or three of them of these like surprise endings and almost this spooky atmospheric nature of some of these stories. Did anything kind of stand out to you when you were editing? Well, I, I enjoyed editing the work of my co-authors and my colleagues at Brick Cave. It's one of the joys that, that I get to experience, but this was the first time that I actually got to be the editor of an anthology. So this was a little different for me. And placing the stories and deciding, you know, where to start us and where to end us, I think was the key for me. I wanted to take us on a, a bit of a journey. And I started it off with, um, with Joe's story because I think that Joe's story enters us into the world of, of the bizarre and the strange and some twisted things, as Joe is wont to do. And I wanted to end with... Uh, Bruce's story because it's so uplifting and I wanted to leave us on a really positive note. So I think we kind of journey through um, some really interesting territory to get there. 